Okay, Kel here with another YouTube video for you guys. Ever wonder what a Korean traditional wedding is like? Well, I got to go to one and I'm going to show you in this video. Yay! It was really cold outside, so we're watching the ceremony from the comfort of our buffet table. This is my friend A Young, and sorry that the camera is going to be very shaky. Okay, so some of you may be wondering what's a Korean wedding like? Do they throw rice, jump the broom, party all night long, pop in soju bottles? Well, not exactly. It's kind of like you show up, pay money, talk through a lightning speed ceremony, eat at the buffet, take pictures, and then an hour later, you're done. But some Korean people can opt for a more traditional wedding. And I'm going to tell you all about this in this shaky voiceover video. So enjoy. And what a beautiful arrangement. People came from all over. Well, mainly China and America as the bride is Korean and living in America and the groom is Chinese American. They both live in San Diego and that's where we all met. Look at the architecture. It's so beautiful. I feel like I was blasted back to the Chosen Dynasty with a bit of modernity, of course. Here comes the bride dressed in white. Don't be shy, girl. You about to get Okay, traditionally husband and wives wouldn't meet until their wedding date during the Chosun Dynasty. Marriages were arranged by the help of a matchmaker. People back then usually married in their teens. Women being significantly older than the men. Could you imagine you're like 18 marrying some 13 year old pimple faced punk? You better get in there and make me some jiggy just like my mama used to do. The groom's family would poke holes through the nuptial chambers to make sure that the wife didn't run off because her husband was so young. My friend's dad told me it was a little bit more than that. The wife was so much older than the husband. She would often have a boyfriend and they would be afraid that the boyfriend would burst through the hey! kill the husband and run off with the bride. Let's get into the pre-wedding festival. This is the drum dance, followed by um, the fan dance. I think my friend said that it was, it was a snow flower dance or the lotus flower dance. I can't remember, but it was very, very beautiful. <laughs> to tell you about um this guy in blue he is very important he's wearing a single wooden kiroki a wild goose excuse my korean korean people for watching this this is very symbolic as wild geese mate for life so you know this is very special you give the wild Goose, you're not gonna run off, you know, on the husband, you're gonna stay with him forever. But you know, we know that just thing how it goes sometimes. She got hit up a little giant and yin yang twin. Okay, um, here's the part where the bride and groom bow to one another. They do this several times, and it's a promise that they will stay committed to one another. So it's very, very beautiful. Look how stunning their clothes are. <laughs> So if this is your dream wedding here, the wedding that you've always wanted, you've imagined getting dressed up in your traditional hanbok, going down with your Korean groom, it ain't gonna happen!